Hello everyone, and welcome back. We are back with more of E's 9 Monster Knox. Last time we finally uh, met Renegade in his civilian form, and he is a young boy bound to a wheelchair, and uh, he apparently does not want to break the curse because he enjoys being able to actually walk if we're using the powers of the monstrums. And apparently Hawk also feels similarly, though for less sympathetic reasons, <laughs> I would think. <laughs> so that's sure to cause a bit of a rift between the group eventually, but for now, for now it's, for now things are going smooth, so we'll just have to see how that goes as time moves on. Anyway, let's begin. Was there still a side? Some side content I had to do first? check the map. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm. No, it doesn't look like it. So, um... Although at the same time I'm not over where this... I don't think. Hang on a minute. These treasure. What's that? Oh, I know what that is. Can I get that yet? Anyway, let's see where I'm supposed to be going next. Not there. Okay, yeah, see, I gotta go out here. And where am I at the moment? Okay, I'm right here. Which, yeah, is not near where I need to go to continue the story, so I probably was still looking over some side content and just need to stop there. Can I do this yet? Uh, let me see if I can do that yet. Oh, that's where I report landmarks, okay. Uh, hang on a sec. While well, I'm, um, let's see, collecting azure petals. Yeah, let's do that. I've been wonder. I kind of need to check on that. Boy, welcome to stream. How you doing tonight? Saw you were playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. Hi, how far are you on it? Did you bring me some petals? And over ten Azure petals. You've made me one happy girl. It makes thirty petals so far. I, I imagine. Want I to thank you. Warlord Elixir received. I'm doing okay. Had today off work. Oh, okay. Finding more Azure. Uh, I feel like I probably do have more. How many did you find, I wonder? 
And over ten. Yep. You've made me one happy what about yourself? I'm doing good, thanks. Um, as you can see in the tags, today's my birthday. Uh, yeah, like I said, I saw you were playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. How far are you in it? I've just got to thank you. Compote recipe. Compote? Compote? How are you say that? Recipe received. So, you've been feeling any more joyful lately? I sure have. I've been so joyful, I don't even know what to do with it. And thank you as well for ensuring my hopes and dreams live on into tomorrow. I pray that these days you spend in this land lead to fortune and and joy of your own. Wait, what am I saying? Uh, sorry, didn't mean to get so pushy there. Uh, anyway, would you mind gathering up some more of these petals? Huh, that was interesting. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just going through Yuffie's part again, beat it already and everything. Just wanted to stream something, so I decided to stream FF7. Well, Yuffie's part. Ugh, I hate that I can't play DLC because it's only on PS5. Because, yeah, I was really interested in that, but nope, they didn't want to put it on PS4 for some reason. <laughs> so, how is it? You. Anyway, would you mind gathering up some more of these petals? You know, you know where to bring them once you do. Do I have any more? How many did you find, I wonder? Yep. Wow. You found so many. It's awesome, it's short though, only like two chapters, but they are lengthy. Yeah, I didn't think it would be real long. Since it's just DLC content, but yeah, that's i I'm glad it's I'm glad it's good. That makes fifty petals so far. Now that's a lot of luck ahead. For your troubles. Right along, Mishi received. Okay. Thanks a bunch. If you find any more Azure petals, you know where to bring them. Did you bring me some petals? Dang, how many did I pick up? So I got 60 now. That makes 60 petals so far. Now that's a lot of delectation. For your troubles. Leather necklace 2 received. What can I say? Thanks for doing all this. I've just been having the time of my life these days. Crazy, huh? You always were most at home with an adventure to warm your door doorstep. I have full faith that you'll manage to arrive at the truth you seek. Truly do I believe that. Uh, wait, what am I saying? What am I even talking about in the first place? Anyway, I could go for a few more bushels of petals myself. If you find any, you know where to bring them. Yeah, I don't like that it's not on PS4 either, really. Yeah, and it doesn't seem to, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, the reason it's discouraging for me is that, to me, that says that future episodes probably won't be on PS4 either. <laughs> Which has kind of turned me off even buying them. <laughs> You know how Bard sings the uh, fanfare sometimes? Yuffie does it too after battle sometimes, and this adorable. Oh, I bet. <laughs> that does sound like it would be adorable. How many did you find, I wonder? You've made me one happy girl. That makes 70 petals so far. Now that's a lot of beatitude. For your troubles. Pretty pink received. Oh, I got a new costume. Looks like. I wonder for who. Thanks a bunch. If you find any more Azure petals, you know where to bring them. Okay, let's check out that new costume I just picked up. Let's see, pretty pink. I doubt it's for Adol. Probably not for Credo either. Uh, could be for her? No? Uh, what about her? Okay, yeah, it's for Krisha. Let's see how it looks. Oh, I love it! That's adorable! I love it! Yeah, we're keeping this. We're keeping this outfit. This costume. <laughs> oh, 
Well, at some point, I presume you'll get a PS5 eventually. Yeah, I will. And I'm sure I will buy the DLC then. <laughs> but yeah, what do you think of the new costume for Krisha? <laughs> Here's what the old one looked like. <laughs> the one I used to have on her. Which I do like, but yeah, I really like the... What Actually, what did this look like? Oh yeah, that. No, I don't want that. But this is the one I want on her now. Because this is adorable. Anyway, let's see what else I can get. Let's see if I have any more petals for her. Okay, that's all for now. <laughs> Um, let me see. How far, how close am I to, how close am I to getting more, to getting ten more? One more, okay. Uh, is there one nearby? Is there, are there any nearby? Doesn't look like it. Well, darn. Okay, done with that. Um, let's see, there was... Bathhouse. Uh, what? What do I do with the bathhouse? Anyway, uh, there was something else I wanted to check out. Oh yeah, reporting landmarks. Yeah, let's go do that. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, while I enjoyed the game as it was, I kinda wished I'd waited for a PS5 to play, um, Tales of Arise. Cause I definitely noticed some issues. <laughs> uh, oh, my bad. Sign in front of guests is against the chaos, Kios Code of Conduct. I just had a bit of a spat with the pal of mine. Nothing worth worrying about, though. Okay, enough about all that. Time to shift back into work mode. Report landmarks. Work out there. You're quite the explorer. That brings your total discovered landmarks up to 11. Thanks, man. Seriously. Oh, and don't worry, I didn't forget your reward. Job well done. Life elixir received. Warlord elixir received. Vigor formula received. If you find any more landmarks, just swing by and let me know. Can't wait to see what you come across next. I have a feeling that Parts main game will only come to the new consoles only to... It sucks, but unlike PCs, you can't change parts of the console, so they eventually have to move forward the more game development advances. Yeah, I definitely understand that. It really only bothers me about Final Fantasy VII Remake. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I wanted to go back to the base real quick. To turn in the formula and the recipe. Oh, you've brought me a medical formula, have you? It's an old one, too. Most people would have a tough time deciphering something so esoteric. But lucky for you, a doctor slash thief like myself isn't exactly most people. I can brew it for you whenever you like. Just make sure you bring the ingredients. Hand it over vigor formula. Sarati can now brew new types of medicine. Uh, let's see what those are. The doctor's in. Boost potion. Can't make that right now, but cool. Oh, okay, I guess that's it. Huh. Well, that's still pretty cool. Always such a tease. Well, oh wait, there. do I need to? I think I need to. Yeah, I need to make some more of these. Use responsibly. 
need anything else from me. Take care up there. But yeah, I definitely understand game development has to move on. I'm just, it, like I said, it just really only bothered me with the Final Fantasy VII remake. <laughs> Uh, welcome to stream, Reen. How you doing tonight? And Reen says, By the time the next Kingdom Hearts game is out, it will be at a time where most games being released aren't coming to PS4 or Xbox One. Yeah. Like I said, I have no problem with that. I just... And I keep repeating myself, but I was just unhappy with them doing that for Final Fantasy VII Remake. <laughs> oh, a new recipe. I shall add this to my exclusive carte du jour for my dear employees. Hand it over, compote, com compote, compote. I don't know how to say that recipe. Hand it over, potage recipe. Oh, I forgot about that. Hand it over, gratin recipe. Oh, dang! I had more than I thought. The number of dishes available at the dandelion has increased. All right, let's see what the new ones are. Apple compote. Compote, a, d a desert, a dessert of apples boiled down to syrupy goodness. Uh, heals 600 HP, infinite SP up. Okay. Mushroom potag, potage, set heals 700 HP and HP region up. And then cheese gratin, which I can't make at the moment, heals 1500 HP and raises experience gained. Yep, those all sound good. Already. Yeah, Don't sorry. There, Actually, Actually, hang on a minute. Anything catch your eye? Yeah, let's go and make some of these. I'll make two of them for now. My secret ingredient is love. Come back next time you need a bite. Go get them out there, darling. What are people's opinion of Shantae, Reen? Or, I guess if you don't know that, what's your opinion of him? <laughs> My only personal problem with it only being PS5 and not PS4 due to already having a PS5 is that I don't really know the reason why. You find him likable? Me too. Uh, let's see. Adel. Say the word and I'll make it. Nope, can't enhance my weapons at the moment. Let me know if you need anything else. Come back anytime. Yeah, did you see the new outfit I got for Krishareen? Yes, had that outfit on her in my game. I don't blame you, it's adorable. I didn't check out the... Oh, I gotta... Wait, she gave me... Oh, she just gave me another one. Okay. So, I just got a second one of those. Okay. Let's see, is there anything else I need to... Check out before I continue the story. Um, let me see. Let's see. Reporting landmarks. Uh, collecting azure petals. I just did that. Um, and then bathhouse, which I don't know what that is about. <laughs> I guess I could check and see. That's not where I want to go. That's the wrong way. <laughs> no. 
Wrong button. <laughs> Use the bass, 100 gold per person. Sure, why not? How would you like? How would you like to take a refreshing dip on our bass, only 100 gold per person? Our waters will replace your aches and worries with vim and vigor, guaranteed. And of course, we do have separate baths for men and women. What do you say? Taking a dip in the bass will fully restore HP for both you and your allies. Additionally, using the bass will increase max HP for all allies once per chapter. Oh. 600 gold will be paid. Use the bass? Yeah, sure. 600 gold paid. Thanks much, Lee. You enjoy yourselves now! There's nothing in the rulebook that says a dog can't wish Luna a happy birthday. Aw, thanks, Soup. And welcome to stream. How you doing tonight? Everyone's HP is fully recovered. Everyone's max HP is increased by 10. Okay, I think that's good enough. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Mamiri's detected. Mystic Lazulite acquired. Huh. Do I have a use for that yet? I'm sure I will eventually, but not right now. <laughs> Doing okay. I'm at work as usual. Oh, okay. Uh, did you see Krisha's new outfit? I just got it a little bit ago. A Prisea from Tales of Symphonia. Yeah, that's a good point. It does. It's been so long since I played Tales of Symphonia, I'd forgotten about that. But yeah, that. But yeah, it does kind of look like. Kind. I can see how that rem it reminds you of her. That is a game I have to play one of these days. I have a. I have it, and I have the collection on PlayStation Three. It comes with Tales of Symphonia and the sequel, Dawn of a New World. <laughs> Anyway, I think I'm ready to continue the story now. Um... Nope, not there. Um... Is that... Wait a minute. No, it's not that one. It's this one. Yeah. It's this one. Yeah, we finally opened up the path to getting out through the main gate soup. <laughs> Which is the gate that Adol tried to leave early in the game. <laughs> and now we're going to go check out um, the Nor's Ruins because um, it's a place that Jules has always wanted to go to. <laughs> And obviously, Adol's interested too. Ah, I keep pushing the wrong button. <laughs> Is this the right way? Yeah. Uh, just a sec. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you met Jules. I, can't I don't know if you saw when we met Jules. City. Was this where you entered Balduk for the first time at all? The Millian Plains. Oh, it's been a while for me, too. You've been to places way bigger than this, right, at all? I wonder what it's like out there. Uh, just a sec. No 
need to rush. Okay, I'm back, and Soup says the Makai Kingdom slash ZHP bundle is coming out on the Switch on May 10th. I'm pretty excited. Uh, glad to hear it. I still need to get the first... I still need to get the first NIS collection. Problem is, I already... Um, concerning my offline backlog, I've still got quite a bit. I got a... I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty close to finishing Shin Megami Tensei 5, and then after that I want, I want to play the routes I haven't done in Fire Emblem Three Houses before Three Hopes comes out. <laughs> Which, that's gonna be difficult, I've only finished the Golden Deer route. <laughs> Klonoa is getting a physical release in Europe too. Oh, nice. That's good. Anyway, let's see. Which way do I go? Um, I guess everywhere since I haven't explored any of this place yet. Uh, I guess for now I better not overwhelm myself and just go where I need the direction I need to go. <laughs> so let's go this way. <laughs> oh yeah, SMT5. That's another game I haven't got to yet. Right. It's pretty good. It's good. It's my first time playing an SMT game, and but I am enjoying it. Let's see.
Well, I thought maybe that was me to break through his shield, but I guess not. That wasn't what I meant to do. The U.S. should get a physical release too, though. Kind of unfair. I thought it was getting a. Uh, as long as you're willing to import, your and P and copies will work here. Uh, the U.S. should begin a physical release too. That's kind of unfair. I thought it was, but maybe not. In truth, my physical copy of Tycho No Tossigen Drum and Fun is a European copy. Oh, okay. Someone made a demo of what Persona 4 would look like if it was made for the Game Boy. Yeah, I think I heard about that. I ought to take a look at that sometime. Of course, I still hope Persona 4 Golden gets at least a Switch release. Obviously, PS4 would be preferable for me, but I'll definitely take it on Switch if there's no... if that's the only way it gets released on. Let's see, let me make sure I'm going the right way. Okay, I am. dumb and just put on everything yeah that would be I hate it when I hate when companies don't do the obvious thing that people want lol it seems to be a thing with Atlas think we talked about the whole persona thing before but too but gosh it's so annoying yeah I mean don't get me wrong I'm definitely happy for the uh, PC gamers that get to play it but still uh, how the heck do I get up there where the treasure chest supposed or is the church just down here? Hang on a minute. Oh, okay, it's down here. Never mind. 1600 gold. Nice. And looks like there's a... Oh, there's also another enemy here. I'm glad that at least so far I haven't had any problems with having to actually... With actually going underwater where I can't breathe. Although, I wonder if Monster Powers comes with the ability to breathe underwater. Uh, hard to say. Oh, there's another... There's another treasure chest. Now, okay, that's the treasure chest that's up there somewhere, and I'm not gonna be able to get it. Uh, I don't think. Let me check. Nope! Can't get it that way. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's a way around. Um, I don't see one from here. Let's go over here and see. Imagine if they were like, yeah, you want the, you want, dumb, the next platform is Google Stadia. That would be dire. I'd be like, you a-holes. 
Uh, yeah, let's hope that doesn't happen. Does anyone even play Google Stadia? I have not heard good things about it, but I just don't know. Okay, I need to go this way to get to... Looks like I need to go this way to get to where... The next story is anyway. The next story point. work. Okay. Um. Oh. Let's try this. Nope. Well, okay. Nope. Nobody has had anything good to say about it from the few people who have tried. There probably are, just not many. Definitely not enough for Google to make any games exclusive to it. Yeah. It died on the vine, so to speak, as it should have. Yeah, what exactly was people's issue with Stadia? I forgot. Like I said, I'd... Because, obviously, it didn't interest me from the start, so... It was dead on arrival. Yeah, like, you don't only own the games, but to stream them, you need to buy them on top of paying for our streaming service. Like, screw that. Oh! Yeah, that's definitely a problem, Keyboy. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely see why it failed it. Pretty much failed on- failed at launch. <laughs> and it was underpowered. Oh, really? Uh, let's see. What was I doing? Okay, seriously, how do I get over to the... Uh... Whoa! Okay, that was a cheap move. Let's see, trying to figure out how to get up to where I need to go. Yeah, and laggy, especially fighting games. Uh, and Soup says, Everyone told them this was a catastrophic idea doomed to failure, but Google figured it could not fail until it did. Yeah, you'd think Square Enix would have learned from that and not released Kingdom Hearts as cloud only on the Switch. But what do I know? I'm not in the business. And common sense seems lacking sometimes, so... <laughs>
Work call. See you later. All right. Take care, soup. See you later. <laughs> and Keyboy says we don't mention them ports, lol. Uh, which ports? Talking about the fighting game ones? Okay, seriously, where am I supposed to go to get up there? Something's there. All right, I know you want to get a fight, Hawk. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh, the cage switch ports. Yeah. Probably best not to. <laughs> A barrier. This stop, this bridge is impassable as it is now. Oh well, we'll try again later. I'm starting to get sick of all these barriers. Well, I'm sure you're not the only one. Let's keep going, Adel. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to get up there. Apparently that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Apparently that's not gonna happen in this area. So let's see, what am I missing? is the future according to some mainstream journalists though like sure guys yeah we don't talk about them either <laughs> the modern gaming journalist Seriously, how am I supposed to get up there? Because that's where the next destination I have to go is. is. The ruins are just up ahead. Oh, okay, here we go. That must be the shrine. We're almost there. Well, okay, I thought the thing was up on the cliff, so my bad. The hell's that? Let's see, so... Yeah, I thought... I made, I made a mistake. I thought the ruins were on top of one of those cliffs I had to get up to. It wasn't, though, so my mistake there. Is, is this the shrine you were looking for, Jules? I have work tomorrow as well, so I'm going to have to go myself too, Luna. Enjoy the rest of your evening and have a good night. Bye-bye for now. Alright, thanks for tuning in, Keyboy. Hope you have a good night and sleep well. Uh, see you tomorrow. Is this the shrine you were looking for, Jules? Nor shrine ruins. It has the characteristic architecture style of shrines dedicated to Grimnir. This has to be it. It's remarkably quiet here, as if time has stopped. Do we really have to go in there? So, what are we doing here anyway? The last Grimnir shrines were often built above catacombs. Catacombs? What purpose was there for placing graves so far underground? They wanted to conduct their rituals in secret, concealed from the followers of Luki. 
If there are records in the past here, they'll be underground. Uh, wow, you know your stuff, Jules. Is that also because of your grandfather? If anything, it was because of the books he left to me. I didn't get a normal education on account of my disease. The Noahs are a family of physicians, aren't they? Some kind of doctor you got for a dad. You wouldn't care you're sick. Crino, that's enough! No, he's right. You probably know this already, but my dad was incarcerated five years ago. Nobody bothered to tell us, his family, what crime he committed, if there was one. Then Credo was right. It's not just your dad now. A lot of people are being detained without cause lately. They must be related somehow. It's a possibility, but what happened to my dad happened a long time ago. And my mom said that he went with them willingly, without making any effort to resist. Perhaps he knew the reason for which he was being arraigned for? I don't know the answer to that question. Let's just focus on finding answers about the curse. At all. Let's see if there are any entrances under the catacombs. Well, I hope I'm doing a good voice for Renegade. I'm trying to kind of ki kind of sound like how he does. Talk like he does. Okay, treasure chest somewhere. Where? Oh, is it up there? Well, if it is, I can't get there from that angle. Uh, it is up there. Darn it! How am I supposed to get up there? Uh, can I get? No, I can't. I'm seeing if I can get up there from the from that side, but it doesn't look like it. What about here? Nope. Okay. Uh, hang on a minute. Let me try something. Let me see if I can get up there somehow. I mean, if there's a side that doesn't have the bars completely surrounding it. Nope, didn't look like there's such a, such a thing there either. Well, let's try anyway. Uh, dang it. Okay, come on. Nope. So that didn't work either. Okay, let's see. Well, hey, um, some treasure. I know, and I can't get to it. Got any ideas, Hawk? Oh, here we go. Um, maybe I better go around this way. <laughs> Are acquired. Okay. Let's see. Now I need to go over there. Actually, there's another church just over there somewhere. Okay, yeah. I can probably f glide over there. <laughs> Gallant recipe acquired. Alright. Got another recipe to give to Shantae later. Uh, what about that one? What about that? Uh, where's that treasure chest? Um, oh, it's way over there. Okay. Um, that's probably not gonna work. I'm probably gonna have to... Yeah, I'm gonna have to get up there and glide over <laughs> again.
Okay, now I can glide over there. Hopefully. I think that's where it is. Yeah. Whoa, a treasure chest. Two snow bells. I keep bringing that snow balls. <laughs> but no, it's snow bells. It's a flower. <laughs> okay, looks like there's... Another treasure chest over there somewhere. Hmm, I think there's something here. Hmm, I think there's something here. Oh, it's over there. Um That's not gonna work, I don't think. Think. Let's see. Well, I'll see what I can do. Nope, that's not gonna work. Treasure chest. Yeah, and we can't get to it. Um, hmm, at least not from the. Here. At least not from there. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Can I think I can make it from there? Maybe if I can, maybe if I start from up here, I can. Yeah, there we go. Twenty-four hundred gold acquired. Okay, any more treasure chest? Oh, there's one over there. Um. Uh, golly, there's a bunch of treasure chests here. Um. I guess that makes sense, seeing us. Ah, darn it. Okay. My time to shine. It's my Let's turn. Let's go. Four tonics. And there's another one way out there. Okay, it's over that way, looks like. Yeah, it's up here. Two dry aged meats. And more enemies. Okay, that's all the. That looks like all the treasure chests for now, so. Let's move on in the story for now. I just gotta find the way over there again. Hmm. Hang on a minute. Okay. Okay, it's not that over there. Um, okay.
something's there. Yeah, here we go. Find insurance, okay. Um, probably need to use... Um... Which one was it that I could climb? Let's take a break. Up? It was one of these. I think it was this one. Yeah. Now let's see. Over there. Yeah, here it is. Adol? Gee, you found a tombstone. What about it? The base of the tombstone is scraped as if something heavy was dragged along it. You push against it with all your might. Oh. Okay. A hidden passage. There is a discernible draft emanating from inside. It's the entrance to the catacombs. So it seems. That's kind of impressive, Adol. <sighs> Anyone can do it with experience. What kind of experience do you think most people have? Okay, he's not wrong. Oh, I mean... Wow, as expected from Adol the Red. <laughs> okay, okay, Renegade. Adol the Red? Heh. <laughs> that's the best you came up with? I didn't make it up. That's what they call Adol. The self proclaimed adventurer entangled in mysterious events wherever he travels. He was a key player in the disappearance of the Roman fleet in the Atlas Ocean. Which I still have no idea what the heck that's about. That's what they wrote on his wanted posters, at least. Yeah, uh, I might have read something like that. The Roman Empire considers him one of their biggest threats. When Carla first told me about him, I imagined someone much scarier. E6? Okay, thanks, Reen. <laughs> yeah, I hope one of these days I'll get around to it. E6 is on... Is that on... That's on, um, PS2, right? Which means good luck with me finding a copy that's reasonably priced. <laughs> when Carla first told me about him, I imagined someone much scarier. That would mean that Adol is a more notorious outlaw than the feral hawk. Humph, <laughs> <laughs> don't be fooled by that placid expression. He's a bona fide criminal. <sighs> Can we do this later? Now he's avoiding the subject. The key to breaking the curse could be in those ca these catacombs. Which I thought you didn't want, Renegade. You and Hawk. Let's go, Adol. Although I think Renegade is kind of hoping there's a way to break it without breaking it for everybody. So, at least he's trying. At least he's trying to help us out. Am I in am, am Maka? The Buried Catacombs. I know I butchered how that name's pronounced. Sorry. This is pleasant. It's about as creepy as you'd expect from an underground graveyard. As I said, these crypts were originally built by those escaping the wrath of Luki's followers. But after Glia embraced the higher of faith, the Norse believers were readily persecuted. Supposedly, whoever conducted the rituals continued doing so down here. Persecution? The Hieroglyph Church did that? And those who administered it were none other than their fellow Gleans. If you ask me, the Hieroglyph Faith was nothing more than a tool used to govern. 
Not that I haven't already been saying as much. Huh. So that's how it went. <clears throat> In any case, it's a little dusty down here. Are you feeling alright? I should be fine. My illness seems to be kept at bay whenever I'm in my monster form. Let's keep moving, Adolf. Okay. Im main Imayan Maka. Again, I probably completely butchered that name. <laughs> okay, what kind of enemies we got here? Alright. Um, oh, okay, there was a safe here. Uh, let's take care of that then. <laughs> Yeah, do you know how much, roughly how much E6 goes for now, Reen? Because like I said, I have a, because I have a PS2, it's just I know PS2 games, especially the rare ones. Oh. Tend to go for more these days. <laughs> Let's see, one or two. Okay, so try. Okay. What was the point of that? Oh, I see. Need to get through here. Need to get through here. Okay. Something's there. Okay, let's see here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Should I get up there? Nope. Hmm. Hang on a sec. Okay. What am I missing? What am I overlooking here? Well, I see there's enemies, but that's not what I'm talking about. Um, how do I get... Th oh! Oh, okay! Over here! Really gonna have to keep an eye on these things. Alright. <laughs> You don't know how much it goes for? Okay. Oh, that helps. Now we're getting somewhere. And of course, recently when I went to a local used game store, they... I don't think... I think that I don't... I didn't see any PS2 RPGs aside from probably some of the Kingdom Hearts games. I know, because I was looking for the Wild Arms games. <laughs> I was hoping to find Wild Arms.
Oh. Nope. That didn't work either. Huh. Okay, it's over there. Oh, okay, here we go. Just down there. Yep. Hey, some treasure. Two smoke, please. Yep. Hawk think he is Scorpion? Uh let's see. I think I need yeah, Here I need I her for this. Okay. Oh boy! That's a big guy. What level is this guy? What level is he? Level 90. Nah, no, forget that. Forget this guy! Ugh, gosh dang it. Um. No kidding. Two polar night drops. Whatever that is, probably another material. Probably need to flip the switch before I can get to that one. Something's there. Yeah. 
Flaring Spalder. What is that? Yeah, Flaring Spalder. Crit plus 10% Flash Guard heals. Okay, let's see. Uh, looks like there's an area back there to go to. What the? Oh, whoops. Sorry, Hawk. Uh, where am I supposed to go then? Oh, okay, over here. Kind of watch for when he starts moving, going back. All right, let's go. Am I the one who thinks the Phantom Thieves could have used a power like that one? Birthday, you cuddly human. Aw, thanks, Dragoon. Welcome to the stream. How you doing tonight? Down we go. Wrong button. There we go. Uh, da -da -da -da. Trying to figure out where to go. F how to? Where to go from here? Just woke up and. I had meatloaf for dinner. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Can I glide all the way over there to get that treasure chest? Eh, only one way to find out. Yep, I can. And that's how I get through. Wicked Grimoire acquired. Uh, I get a feeling that's for Renegade. Yep, called it. Renegade will learn the skill Malefic Judgment. Renegade learned the skill Malefic Judgment. C plus okay. Okay, um Okay, yeah, I see now. Probably need to go this way. Leave it to me! I got this. Has been 
I'm kind of surprised I thought of that reference since it's been years since I played Mortal Kombat, but yeah, when Hawk says get over here like that, that's who it makes me think of is Scorpion. Um, okay. Two panaceas. Alright, now we gotta get back out to that main hallway and we need to go straight. Alright. Let's die. Oh. That's not the right way. Um Oh, okay. Did I go? Nope, I went the wrong way. Darn it. Yeah, I just asked a moment ago, am I the only one that thinks the Phantom Thieves would have benefited from this power? Darn it. Good. It's my turn. Switch. Scissors condemn Norns. Oh, okay. Okay, we are. Okay, you want to get over here, please? up to level two, so... Alright.
Okay, let's see. Um, I think I wanna... Okay, fine. I thought I'd go back and save, but I guess not. Probably not necessary. Anyway. This place is huge! What is it? What could that be? It's beautiful! Looks like some kind of ancient mural. That central figure resembles the deity statue outside. That's Grimnir, king of the gods. Since he's wearing a mask, this mural must predate the Hundred Years' War. The figures depicted around him are his demigod warriors. Demigods? What are those? They were the half-human, half-god servants of Grimnir. Hey, guys, get a load of that. Hmm? Isn't that... It's... Oh. Red moons. Could it be? Could it be? Is that the Grimwald Nox? Don't those monsters look familiar to you guys? There's no doubt about it. Yep. And those people fighting the monsters are Grimnir's demigods. This must mean that the Grimwald Nox has been appearing since ancient times. Just like a Prillis said. But this doesn't give us all the answers. Still, we might learn something important by observing these relics of the past. So, we are getting closer to the truth, right? Catacombs go deeper in that way. The sooner we finish searching this hellhole, the sooner we can get out. But, it doesn't make sense. It isn't Monstrums fighting the Lemiris in this, but the demigods. I have even more questions now than I had before. Hmm. Well, hey, don't... Hey, what is that over there? Maybe some more old ruins? It's hard to tell from here. There's no end to the secrets this city holds. Okay. Let's see. Um.
Okay, I can't get up there anyway. Whoa! Uh, let's see. Uh, probably no reason to go that way. Out of this. Okay, let's go down here. me or is Hawk kind of hard to control when I'm not fighting enemies? Like, when I just want to get that. Uh, oh, it's down there. Oh boy. That's gonna be a bit of a tough landing to pinpoint. Yep. Okay, let's try that again. go. On expelled. What does that do? Evade plus 5% endure fatal blow. Okay, next is going that way. Alrighty. Hey, some treasure. Eagle Eye Orb Orb acquired. Okay, what is that to? Orb increased. Oh, it's sacramental. Increased mapping range. Okay. Um. Da, 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 da. Eh. Although, truthfully, we're not hurting for money right now. So I probably could go without the gold acquisition. Anyway, okay. Can't go any further that way. So. All right, let's go down here. Something's there. <laughs> New location discovered. Great Bell Bridge. Okay. So this is what they mean by breathtaking. Yeah, something. Anyway, moving on. Hmm. Whoa, a treasure chest. Blade Ring Three. Ah. 
See what I mean? When I'm trying to hit these things, it's hard to control Hawk sometimes. Okay, this way. And there's still some treasure chests I haven't picked up yet. Uh, okay, one is over there, I think. Yep. Hermit's Remedy acquired. Okay, it's down there. A treasure chest. Twenty five hundred gold. Let's see, still another I know that's the way I need to go, but there's some more treasure chests over there that I wanna get. Where is Okay, I'm not close enough to find it. Oh, that was close. Alright. Now, where was it? Okay, over there. Four tonics. Better remedies. Nice. Okay, um, oh, there's still another church just over there. Uh, that I'll probably have to give her. Oh, gosh. Okay, let me see if I can get back over there somehow. Yes! 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 Let's see, how did I get over there to begin with? Oh, I went this way. Okay.
This one should be easier to land on. 3,000 gold. Okay. Um. Okay, there we go. That's what I was hoping for. Now, uh, let's see. I need to go... Back that way. Okay. get up how do I get there? Over there. Hmm. Oh, maybe it's this way. this way. Well, not if I don't aim right. <laughs> that way. <laughs> Figured out how to get there once before. What happened? Is it this? Hmm. Is it this way? Do I need to take this? Oh, 
Oh. Can I... Can I get up there from here? Nope. What about... Hmm. What about from this way? No. Okay, seriously, what am I missing? I gotta get around... I gotta get up there somehow. Okay. That's a start. Oh, here we go. Hmm, I think there's something here. Um, where? Oh, okay, over here. Hmm, I think there's something here. Yeah, more enemies. <laughs> I don't know so what she means, but. <laughs> Okay, we can go this way. Nice of these arrows. I just this just occurred to me. Nice of these arrows to point out when we can run up. Whoa, a treasure chest. Two thousand gold. Sealed shut. There must be something we can do to open it. Yeah, how about I just smash everything in? No, Yufa. We might end up breaking something important. Okay. Uh uh, leave me alone.
to go. Leave it to me. All Wait, right. Are you okay? Something's there. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, there we go. Switch. Now. Um How am I supposed to get up there? Dang it. How am I supposed to get up there? Uh, let me see. Oh, I see. Okay, let's see. I need to go down there, I think. Is it down there? which I'm trying to get to. Oh, there's one over there. Okay. Two Norse blue. Uh, there was another one over there, yeah. Two mystic laws of light. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, go this way. Yep. Love whoever thought of putting up those level 90 m giants down here. It is another enormous room. Look at all. There's another mural. Uh, it's pretty high up. Uh, is that a mural? I uh, somehow I don't think so. It's a lot creepier looking than the other ones. I don't think that's a mural. 
Okay, that's not a mural, it's a sculpture. A primordial? Or just an oversized centipede? Good question. It doesn't look like it predates the Hundred Years' War. Is it alive, You're like right. I think it is? Unlike those other murals back there, this one's a hell of a lot more realistic. Yep, it's alive, isn't it? It looks like it'll come to life at any moment. The hawk! Don't jinx us! Damn it. Yeah, it opened your big mouth. What was that? What's causing it? Get ready for battle. <laughs> this day keeps getting better and better. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. Okay. Giant centipede on the loose. This ought to be fun. Manning Chilopod of the Catacombs, Renee's Nightilger. Okay, can't get through there. So, what do I do now? At least I assume I can't. Yep, called it. So, what do I do now? Oh, okay. The problem is I'm already low on... Uh, let's see... Okay, I'll settle for this. Okay... They're gonna turn on autoplay. Uh. Um, who turned on autoplay? Because I know I didn't, or I didn't do it intentionally. Okay, fine. Switch. All right, let's go. 
I go away for two hours and I find you fighting photorealistic Kiratina. <laughs> You're not wrong. But yep, welcome back, Soup. <laughs> Now it's a flying photorealistic Giratina. Go figure. I mean, Garatina has a form change. Oh, that's true. Ah, uh, you ought to forgive me. I never played Pla Pokemon Platinum. <laughs> so I don't remember Garatina. I don't really know much about Garatina. Am I even doing anything to it? Can't tell. Gotta get those ones somehow.
Okay, got one left. go okay now we're oh I gotta hit the nose or whatever that is there we go oh that was fun <laughs> and I'm not being sarcastic that was a fun fight Daryl Lay's uncle is pissed oh wow that brings back memories gosh when was the last time I fought a Daryl Lay back on Fantasy Star Universe <laughs> How do I turn off auto? Dang it. That was one weird monster, wasn't it? Okay, there we go. Indeed, it differed. No, I don't want I want to turn off auto. It didn't didn't seem like it was native to the area either. I don't know even know how I turned the auto on. I didn't do it on purpose. How do I turn it off? How do I turn auto off? <laughs> Square, okay, thanks. I must have pushed it, must have accidentally pushed it when I thought I was still gonna be fighting. Okay, let me, let me bring up that dialogue. Uh, let's see. Since I missed that, um. Get ready for battle. Da-da-da. God, ever expected a giant centipede to come barreling right off of the wall. No kidding. I think I'm still in shock. That was one weird monster, wasn't it? Indeed. It differed considerably from those found in the Grimwald Knox. It didn't seem like it was native to the area, either. Let's get to stepping. Looks like this place goes even deeper from here. Now go to the journal and check out the monster section and look at its description, okay? Monsters. Um... Let's see, uh, da -da concealed path, Mount Eldare, da -da 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 -da. here we go. Oh, uh, wait. Okay. Uh, Lemurs, Lemurs, Lemurs. Um, da -da -da. Okay, here we go. Bosses. Uh, a many-legged monster that seems almost familiar somehow. Each joint carries its own store of magical energy, thus granting it an overwhelming supply of vitality. That seems almost familiar somehow. Okay. Yeah, this is the primordial I fought the other day, Soup. <laughs> An ancient beast that seems almost familiar somehow. Its body is tremendously strong and durable. Its kind once reigned dominant over the land long ago. Dang, it's pretty cool looking, I know, right? <laughs> so I take it this is a boss, there's a boss similar to this in another game, Reen, is that correct? <laughs> in fact, I wondered how many of this it says that about now. Uh, da -da -da -da. 
Okay, just so- Oh no, this one. A winged monster that seems almost familiar somehow. So this one... Rene... Rene Vagillion and Rene... Anyway, but yeah, when you brought up Daryllay, like I said, that sure brought back memory soup. I think Fanstar Universe was, I think there was one in Fanstar Universe also, and that was the last time I fought one. Uh, let's see, which way do I need to go? I guess this way. The Rene monsters are bosses from the first game. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, like I said, I don't know how many of these games I'll get to play, get around to being able to play. I uh, definitely like to play more of them, I just don't know how many I'll get to play. Right now, my only options are the three games I have and then Memories of Silsetta. If I could ever get my PSP working, I know I could probably get some of those games. Uh, anyway, moving on. Actually, I guess E7 is the only one on PSP, isn't it? Huh, you know, I, I feel like I've been here before. Oh wow, what gave it away? We only end up in the prison literally every time. The prison? Then this is where... Hmm. Do you want to head back? Uh, you're kidding, right? Battle the Red, calling it quits? Uh, not really. We were thinking about you. We should take this opportunity to investigate as thoroughly as we can. Someone's rearing a go. What happened to being sick? In any case, that means that even the catacombs are connected to the prison. Emergency preparedness, I get. But how many escape routes does one place even need? Is something the matter, Krisha? Oh, um... It just seems quieter here than the prison usually is. Let us proceed with caution, then. We cannot know what awaits us ahead. Right. Okay. Um, no save? Alright. Or no healing point, anyway. <laughs> Someone doesn't get out of have I been here before as the other adult? I'm not familiar with the equipment in here. Uh, I don't think I have been. <laughs> this must be a laboratory where advanced experiments are conducted. What kind of experiments could they be doing in here? I don't like this one bit. Something on your mind, Anamona? Pardon me. I was merely distracted. Distracted? Are you feeling unwell? I am a doll, so I do not suffer such ailments. Who are you people? How did you get in here? I should report the lot of you. Yeah? I'd like to see you try, old man. Wait, Huck! He doesn't look like he works for the prison. I detect no other presence in the vicinity. He is alone. I like the purple eyes on this costume uh, for Krisha, too. They're pretty. Uh, how? Oh, is that your dad? Dad? Yep. Dad? Is that you? What? Jules? It can't be. You're Jules, aren't you? Jules! My son! It really is you, Dad. Jules, your legs. Your condition has gotten worse, hasn't it? He really is Jules' father. 
I'm so glad you found him. But wasn't his father being held as a prisoner? Hmm. She's right. What are you doing in a lab? Do you have any idea how worried mom is about you? Dad? You all must be the monstrous. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Smirnov Noah. I was once a doctor in Balduk. I know you. You're famous, Doc. What's a guy like you doing in a dump like this? As I'm sure you've all speculated, I'm helping someone conduct experiments. Helping who? And what kind of experiments? <clears throat> this is just a gut feeling, but what comes to mind when you think experiments? Nothing good. You know, all those preposterous things we've seen around here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess, you've met... Um... What's her name? <laughs> Begins with an I. Anyway, you've met her, haven't you? Yeah, we ran into those. Do you mean the primordials? I see. So, you were the ones who broke into the restricted sector. Dad. <laughs> I bet that giant centipede was your doing too, huh? I can't believe it. Why would you create these monsters? Who are you working for? <sighs> Forget it. He ain't talking. Whatever it is, it's apparently more important than his precious son's disease. Dad? Are you working for the Hieroglyph Knights? The Hieroglyph Knights? That would be the logical conclusion. What you've all seen was only a glimpse of the complete truth. But a word of caution. If you choose to delve further into the truth of this prison, you will be faced with a difficult choice. That must be what Aprilis was referring to. Chatelard was yammering on about something similar. We can't avoid the truth anymore. Crimson King, you are an honest and sincere man. But I've already divulged more than I should have. And I cannot return home until my work here is finished. You never think of anyone but yourself. I used to be grateful to you. You took me in. Made me feel like I was your real son. Wait, what? Real son? But you abandoned mom. You forced her to take care of me all by herself. You despised me so much, then you should have just said so! Jules. For some reason, Mom still won't give up on you. Everyone looks at her like the wife whose husband left her with a broken kid. Despite all that, she still waits for you to come home. Every day. You can't even begin to imagine how much she's gone through because of you! Do either of us actually mean anything to you at all? I won't be your burden for much longer anyway. But before that, I'm going to bring you back to Mom. Even if I have to drag you the whole way! Jules! Calm down! It all makes sense now. His final nail in the coffin.
Work hard so the ones looking after me can live in peace. Bring back that deadbeat so I can think him properly. Oh. Dang, this is getting about his mom and dad. heavy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I truly wish I could, but I cannot leave this prison. I cannot let this all go to waste. What? I'm glad I could see you, my son. What? Dad? Inmate 217. <sighs> How do you know that number? So it's true. You really are at all Kristen. Slowly but surely, you draw nearer toward the center of the web. Each step you take will be more dangerous than the last. I hate to ask this of you, but please, take care of Jules. Take care of my son. Wait! He's gone! What... Uh, what happened to him? It appears he has escaped our grasp. Things just keep getting weirder and weirder. <sighs> you did good, Jules. I... I... <laughs> Jules. We were able to retrieve some valuable information. We are now aware that there are experiments involving monsters and primordials, and that it is all somehow related to our curses. Yes, and that Jules's father is working for someone. But who could it be? That I do not know. Whoever it is, they've got to be the one behind all of this. Maybe it's the man Aprilis was talking about. The mutual acquaintance between her and Shadowlar. That may be the most probable answer. It's the best lead we've got right now. I'd wager that oh-so-virtuous Master Shadowlar is laying a scheme as we speak. Adol, let's return to the Dandelion. It's been a long day. I think everyone could use some rest. Yuf is right. Maybe we'll be able to think clearer afterwards. Then I would advise against lingering here for much longer. Let us depart at once. <sighs> wow. Hey, what do you think about what we just heard? Yep, here we are. That the Hieroglyph Knights are running the prison now, instead of the Roman garrison? Well, they said it was only temporary until Warden Belger recovered from his illness. Excuse me, illness? But it is strange that it came from the Knights, and not Warden Belger himself. Oh, right. You do have a point. There's an underground sector the guards aren't allowed in, right? I heard a rumor that they're conducting some odd experiments down there. Experiments? What kind of experiments? Uh, I don't know. No use dwelling on it then. It's just a rumor. But I don't know how else to explain all the weird things that have been happening lately. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're here to do a job that I don't feel like losing anytime soon. I don't either. Then we're on the same page. Let's go. Meet up with Marius at the chapel. Okay. <laughs> I still love that this adult has that much money. What's he gonna do with it down here? Uh, I imagine it'll come into play somehow. Anyway. So 
the chapel where I'm supposed to go, maybe? Yep. Hey there, Adol. What should we do today? Haha, <laughs> well, about that. I know this sudden, Adol, but today's the day we go our separate ways. I've decided to break myself out of here. Remember that old map we found in the restricted sector? I'm planning on using that escape route on it to make a break for the city. What a coincidence, so am I. <laughs> I had a feeling you might say something like that. <sighs> to tell you the truth, there's a great deal of things I owe you an explanation for. But I- but I can't get you wrapped up in any of this any more than I already have. I'm sorry. I'm going to miss you. So will I, my friend, but you don't have to worry about me. Anyway, we won't be seeing much of each other from here on. Take it easy on yourself, okay? I'll just be on my way now. See you around, Adol. Is it really okay to let Marius go off on his own? Um, Guess not. No problems to speak of. We've managed to persuade the guards for the time being. All according to plan so far. But stay sharp, we'll still have some skeptics to contend with, no doubt. There's no mistake in it. The knights are taking control over the prison. You'll have to tread carefully to avoid getting caught by them. Mary's plans Mary's plans to use an escape path that branches out from the mines. The entrance to the mines is right below the central wing courtyard. If you hurry, you just might be able to catch up to him. Okay. Um... That's not the right way, is it? Um... This is the entrance to the Jillian Mines Pinnell Labor Center. Are you a special sector inmate? I'll need you to I'll need to get a look at your access pass. 
You present your access pass. Yep, no problems here. I'm guessing you've come to volunteer? That's right. Yes. Someone else came by a while ago to do just the same. Maybe you know him? Exemption from mandatory labor duties is one of the many perks of the special sector. It's not every day we get a willing volunteer out of it, let alone two. All the better for us. The mines are right down this passage. Show them your access pass again when you get downstairs. So, to clarify, we should submit our periodic reports to you, Knights? Well, that makes sense, given that the prison's already under their jurisdiction. Uh, Dragoon says, Wow, someone in the crowd for AEW has a sign that says, A winner is you. <laughs> oh, okay. But who are we supposed to report to? Periodic reports will go to us for the time being. As for you, submit your transaction reports from the Pendleton Company, like always. We'll contact you right away once we've assigned you a director. Uh, thanks for all the help. Though I doubt Mr. Pendleton will be happy about things stalling without a say-so. A wrestling slash video game classic. Yep. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Now if you'll excuse me. Yeah, don't mind me. Unbelievable. Things have really gone to hell without the warden around. <sighs> yeah, he may be a little suspect at times, but at least he's actually helpful. You there! State your business! Maybe he's here for the same thing that guy from the special sector was earlier? Ah, uh, volunteer then. You have your access pass, I gather? You present your access pass. This is pretty admirable of you as far as special sector residents go. We'll be sure to take your actions here into account on your next parole hearing. Move along now. The foreman will give you your assignment inside. Parole hearing. Assuming he was actually going to get one. Uh <sighs> I mean, maybe before the knights took over he would've, but now, not so sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I vaguely remember this guy. What's this? Another volunteer? Never did I expect to receive two in the span of a single day. Who is the other one? A lad with dark hair. Rather he's a going, but commendable for a special sector inmate. You can continue down the passage if you wish to offer up your services. The work site should be all the way at the end of the path. Our primary commissions call for silver, but sulfur and cinnabar are in demand as well. Just take care you don't lose your way and end up in the old mine gallery. Beasts are known to prowl there, so I won't be able to make any guarantees on your life. I'm sure I'll manage somehow. Alright, let's go. The old mine gallery should be somewhere past the slot gate. You can see signs that the lock was picked before being carefully put back into place. Uh, let's go. You quickly unlock the gate before anyone could catch you. Let's take a break. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. So yeah, I'm gonna go and take a short break here. So if there's anything you need to do, that'd be a good time and I'll be back as soon as I can. I probably won't be real long. <laughs>
Okay, I'm back. Uh, let me catch up on chat. Uh, Dragoon says, so we're getting MJF versus CM Punk in a dog collar match. Okay, sounds interesting. Hello, Perry. Welcome to the stream, if you're still there. How you doing tonight? Okay, uh, let's continue. Uh, I'm not sure why I bother fighting enemies as this saddle, because he doesn't get any experience points for it. Oh well, they're in the way, so why not? White not acquired. <laughs> They are rusty. <laughs> what a turn of fate ran into you in a musty place like this. What are you up to anyhow? Making a break for it already? You relay everything that's happened until now to to Xavier. Had a rumor how to say his name. Hoity! So you found a way to bust out of this place already, huh? I'm a little worried about that Marius fella myself. But for now, you should go see if this really does lead to an escape route. I might be feeling gracious enough to gallantly lend you another paw. Oh, And then it's goodbye. Uh, actually, no, I'll say the first one. Thanks for always looking out for me. Thank you. It's no big deal. I mean, wherefore else would I come all the way here in the first... Anyway, let's set forth before some rascally wastful... <laughs> did, did he just... Did he just do a Looney Tunes reference? <laughs> I don't know, I, maybe I'm thinking about it too much, this is how it came off to me. Anyway... Let me try that again. Anyway, let's set forth be some before. Anyway, let's set forth before some rascally wastrel spots us. Xavier is now accompanying you. Why the long face, Rusty? It's gonna get stuck like that if you don't unstuck it, you know. <laughs> Oh. Um. Okay, that did not work. Um. There we go. Look out! Those traps look painful. Uh. Okay, thought that looked wider than it was. Um. Eight hundred gold acquired. Okay, can I? I mean, I don't want an answer that's a spoiler, but why does this Adol not have any special attacks? Like, yeah, granted, we can't expect him to have the same one as Monstrum Adol, but. Don't let it spot you, Rusty. Uh, wait, what now? 
What are we talking about? Uh, um, da -da -da -da, which, um, uh, oh, that thing. Okay. Ah, the problem. Where? Up there? Can I get up there? Nope. Well, especially if I don't push the right button. Nope, can't get up there. Oh, shit! Ah. Okay. Oh, okay, I gotta. Whoa! Okay! Whoa! Hang on a minute! Okay, hang on. No, I'm not! Ugh. Let's see. Okay, do not step on that. Um. Oh, missed a treasure back here. Oh no, I didn't. I can't get that one. Ah, I got a feeling that's gonna be for someone else to pick up. <laughs> well, that's someone else is obvious, but. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Oh, fudge. Yeah, I'm not going. How am I supposed to get to that? Um, can I get to that from here? Well, if not, I'll just end up on that thing down there. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Probably for later. All right, and we gotta be careful here. And which way am I supposed to go? Oh, I think I'm supposed to go that way. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to get that way? Ugh. Okay, fine. Let's see. What the? Who's dummy do is this? Are you okay? No, I'm not. How the heck am I supposed to get through this place? Seriously. Okay. Let me think here. No, it's gotta be that way. Okay, hang on a minute. Let me back up a bit. Okay, no, I need to go that way. Uh, 
Ugh. This is annoying. Okay. Let's see. I need to just forget about that and go this way. Somehow. Wait. Ugh. Okay, I'm confused. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> ah, crap. Okay, um... Oh, I think I know what to do. Hang on a sec. Okay! <sighs> Looks like a stealth mission. Yep. That's pretty much what all this adult's missions are. Okay, let's see. Oh no, that's not the way I was... Wait. <laughs> Which way was that? No, I was gonna go this way, wasn't I? Dang it. Wait a minute. Well, that gets me the treasure chest. But... Um, doesn't help with much else. Let's see. Hmm. Oh! Yes, it did! Okay. Okay, we're good now. <laughs> I can get by here finally. A treasure chest! Oh boy. Don't get me wrong, this is fun, but <laughs> some of these missions for this battle get a little irritating at times. <laughs> Phew, methinks we made it past the worst of it by now. After this, things should be... Yeah, please don't jinx it. Called it. Oh, gosh. Yeah. All downhill from here. <sighs> Sneaking our way through wouldn't be impossible, per se. But catching up to that Marius fellow would be another story. Hmm. Guess there's only one thing for it. Looks like we'll be parting ways sooner than we thought, Rusty. My cutting wit and nimble blade should be enough to keep a few of them busy. I won't be able to stray the whole lot, but you can handle the rest, right? Uh, will you be okay, Xavier? What? Will I be okay? You wound me, Rusty. I've been playing on this from the very start, so don't you fret about me. If anybody can spark a change around here, it's gotta be you. I know you have what have it in you to solve this prison's conundrum and save us all. I can think of no better reason to lend you my aid. Thus, I beseech you, get out of here and carry the fight on for both of us. Uh... Come your ways, you lily-livered moppets! Feast your gaze upon the exalted Xavier! Xavier. Fare thee well, Adol, till next we meet, whenever that may be. You could hear Xavier's... Xavier's... Just a sec. You could hear Xavier's footsteps fade into the distance as he lured the sentries away. Two of them still remain, however. It would be best to proceed with caution. Okay. Proceed with caution. Um. Dude, let's see. I need to go that way. Where's the other one? Oh, there he is. Alright. Uh. Huh? Oh. 
Okay, looks like I already got rid of both of them. So that's good. Now, how do I get up there is the question. Uh, maybe this way somehow. A treasure chest! Yeah, where? Up there, I guess. Let's see. Oh. Oh, okay. There's a place for me to jump up at. Not from here. <laughs> hmm? Oh. <sighs> Good going, Marius. Quite a pickle you've gotten yourself in this time. Over here, beast! Couldn't have done that sooner. Oh, fine. Are you all right? Thanks to you, you saved my neck, Adol. I've definitely had better moments. I ran out here trying to escape. Before I knew it, I was hanging on for dear life. Although, with you calling it a stealth mission, Dragoon, I've definitely played worse stealth missions than this in video games, so. Probably shouldn't complain too much. <laughs> then, and by that I mean what this game has to offer in general. We know the hieroglyph knights have a bone to pick with the Roman Empire. Rogue's motto is not "You kill the monsters, I'll handle the trap." Traps. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Tells me that Shadowlard's hiding something up his sleeve. Gee, you think? To that end, I have something I need to do. If I don't, then I'll never be more than just a tool. Huh? Yeah, huh? Uh, what do you mean? I'm beginning to remember the reason why I am here. My purpose is to ensure the well being of my country. Huh? My greedy, pompous country, fraught with hypocrisy. Um... Are you talking about Glia? You mean... No. I told you before. I'm from the Roman Empire. <laughs> okay, okay, so I forgot. As you might be aware, the Roman Empire is not exactly well-liked in Elysia. Alright. It up to the wars, the invasions, Conquests to expand our territory. Hell, even the ocean couldn't shield Africa from the consuming flames of Rom. And now, Glia has been added onto its long list of annexed nations. Am I the only one getting Fire Nation vibes from this? Shadowlar's out for revenge. I believe he intends to use me against my own country. That sounds like a complicated situation. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a real mess. In any event, I don't expect you to follow me to the wolf's den. What the? F what the Fire Nation is about to attack? <laughs> 
Yeah, I guess so. Roman equals Rome, yeah. I figured that much. Seems like a lot of the... Uh, anyway. Um... In the event I don't expect you to follow me. Um... I've been helped by Romans before. Is that right? Oh, got to I mean, I don't know which Romans those were, but... Obviously it happened for the statement to even come up. Actually, when... Was Loxia? Where was Loxia from again? Was she Roman? I don't remember. I feel like she was, but I can't remember for sure. Ah, what the hell? We've watched each other's backs for this long. Okay, it's a deal. We're getting out of here together. You and I are going to be partners until we've both gotten what we're after. I look forward to it. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I never thought I'd say this. I wonder if we'd still be friends if you knew the real me. Hmm? Well... Do you feel that? It's barely noticeable, but there's a draft. There must be a passage leading outside. Oh, is that what that was? I thought it was a roar. Me, the escape route continues along this way. She's from Garmin. Adel is also from Garmin. Oh, okay. Remember Griselda? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Let's press ahead. Yeah. We better keep moving. They'll come looking for us once they've realized we're gone. Hmm. Anyway. Chapter 6, The Renegade's Secret. End. Trophy earned the renegade secret. Okay. Well, time to change the time to change the title of the Stream. This was. Uh, Reen, without spoilers, does this game just have shorter chapters and there's more of them? Because I feel like I'm going through this game faster than I did Ease 8. <laughs> Anyway, 44 Twilight Shards acquired. Although we are so, although obviously there's already more chapters in this game than in 8 because there weren't 7 chapters. Yeah, there's no mega chapter like chapter 5 and 8. Oh, okay. They're doing experiments beneath the prison, huh? Hmm, and Jules' father is involved. Many know of Dr. Noah and that, he's, he's, and that he is indisputably a brilliant scholar. For a doctor distinguished as he to have access to advanced technologies, 
I can only imagine the scientific miracles he could achieve. You think you're looking to train primordials and monsters to use in war? Oh, that would be messed up. Even if they don't, there's bound to be immense profits to be made from them. They're nuts, a lot of them. Hmm. Oh, um... Well, what we should really be con What we really should be concerned about is stopping them from making more creatures. When do we leave? You idiot! This is nothing to be excited about! We still got no idea what Shadow Art's planning yet. It is clear that Dr. Noah and the Hieroglyph Knots are indeed colluding. I can't think of anything good that could come out of this. This is merely a conjecture, but I presume the Romans are, to some capacity, aware of this situation. It has been quiet around here lately. Maybe it's because I haven't seen the Warden in a while. Oh, now that you mention it, I haven't either. Maybe he's not feeling well? That may be true, but I fear our missing warden is analogous to the re recent surge in oddities. Yeah, we can't just wait until this blows over, even if it ends up being nothing. Alright! We're gonna go back to the prison, and we're gonna find out what's going on. What do you say, Adel? That's exactly what I had in mind. Yeah. Good ol' Adel. This could very well involve all of Balduk. Uh, I don't give a hoot about Balduk. I mean, cause I got a score to settle with Shadowlard. I will join as well, for family reasons. I will accompany you as per usual. If we're breaking into the prison, then I've got an idea. Could you show me the map of the city at all? Remember the passages we found in the outskirts leading to the prison? The common denominator is that we found them all in ancient buildings or ruins. That is an insightful observation. If my hypothesis is correct, then there's one here we haven't investigated yet. They're ruins from the Hundred Years' War. I'm guessing we'll find a passage there. You two'd better not run out on us to see the sights. Well, I got my reasons too, so more power to you. I won't deny that I do harbor interest in seeing the ruins. Guys, the plan, remember? Right. As for the location of the ruins... They're right here. That's all the way east of the city. What kind of ruins are out there? There's what, they're what's left of an abandoned quarry. In the old days, rocks and minerals were mined from there. Of course, nobody's mined there in ages. It's safe to assume it'll be vacant. That path. I think I remember there being a barrier blocking it. Yes, it was there that when we went to the shrine. If this is our destination, then we must first dispel the barrier. Then the plan has been decided. Alright, once we're ready, let's head out. Chapter 7, Capriccio of the Prison New quest available on the bulletin board. Alright. Well, before that, let's see what we can do with our blacksmith. Yeah. Probably need to go get more potions Save the word too. And I'll make it. Okay. Um, let's see. So I can upgrade everyone but him. <laughs> well let's see. One and his is the strongest right now anyway, so <laughs> Just leave it to me. Okay. I need 
need more crimson spars and drill things. Oh, so let's see done. what I can do. Come back anytime. Yeah. Step right up. Oh, I can only make one okay. drill thing. Okay, let's see. You've got a deal. Oh, you got a good eye. You'll bring more stuff later, right? Bye bye. See you later. Yeah. I'm ready and raring to go. Okay, I need more drill things. Let me know if you need to come back anytime. I need one more drill thing anyway. Say the word and I'll make it. Time to show off my skills. One forty-five. I need five crimson spars and five spears. Let me know lumber. if you need anything else. Come back any time. Say the word and I'll make it. Well, don't come back any time. Yeah, I didn't get the crimson spars. Sorry. Time. Yeah. Say the word and I'll make it. Just leave it to me. Uh, that's probably good enough for now. Do you guys in chat agree that that's probably good enough for upgrading for now? I'm ready and raring to go. Up. 
what do you think? I'm pretty proud of this one. Fit. That's not what I want to do. Oh, uh, all done? Come back anytime. Adel, come back anytime. time. Sweet of you two to keep me company. <laughs> or the way Credo's sitting, though. But don't you have things to take care of? Meh, all that mess at the prison's finally winding up to an end, anyhow. Besides, this here is a nice change of pace. It is not much of a change, given how often you have arrived in the Nox pre inebriated. Uh, what? Nevertheless, recuperation is vital. Perhaps I shall indulge in an extra lump of sugar. Just how does Enamona's body work, I wonder? Hmm. Well, hello there, Adam. Use responsibly. Use responsibly. There you go. Need anything else from me? Take care up there. Talk's been circulating about some unknown cargo being brought into the prison. I tried going off the old bag's intel to do some digging, but it'd probably be faster to sneak in and see what they're hiding. Well, aren't you a dependable sort? Were you a thief once, perhaps? What do you think about working for me once your prospects are open? I'm sure I could expect many a great thing from the Crimson King's right hand man. Alright, enough with the head hunting. Save the pitch for after Adol's curse is broken, all right? Hey! What do you want to make? Let's do this! <laughs> what do you think? That should do it. <laughs> Good work out there. Hello there. Let's have a look-see. Impressive as always, Adol. This map may very well be the paradigm for cartography in the region. I'd like you to have this. Warlord Elixir received. Do show me your map again, which made more progress. Best of luck, Adol. Just making sure that's all. It doesn't seem too different from before. Alright. Show this to me again once you've explored Balduke's more. Alright. Just wanna be sure. I 
I am utterly elated that Carla finally came for a visit. I had so much wish to show her. I had so much I wished to show her, including our lovely staff. <laughs> Carla came into my life as if she was an angel. I had just lost someone very dear to me, and I myself was lost in turn. We didn't know each other then, but she knew me of, of me somehow and arranged a meeting. She told me that I was better suited for a profession that brought joy rather than suffering. So she helped me find work outside of the arena, and now here I am. Truly, I owe Carla more than I'll ever be content with her pain. Maybe I need to talk to Yufa instead. Oh, you got a recipe book! <laughs> Just give me the word and I'll have a crack at it. Hand it over, Galette recipe. The number of dishes available at the dandelion has increased. Hey, Let's Al. see what that does. What'll it be? Uh. Buy something next time, okay? Don't be a stranger. Okay, let's take a look at the bulletin board. Let's see... Artisan... Artisan is suffering. Um... Trouble starting to brew among the craftsmen, and I'd like some outside help on my end. If anyone sees fit to accept this request, come speak with me at the craft guild. Warehouse stakeout. The noble dish warehouses have been frequent targets for burglary as of late. The nefarious criminals have proven capable of slipping by the Roman watch virtually undetected. I thus emphatically implore the aid of those skilled enough to handle these ruffians. Should you find you fit to quality these Should you find you fit these qualifications, make your way to the noble district warehouses at once. Count Eagle. I have a trial for you all to undertake. Come see me once you've made your arrangements. Perlis. Oh. Her is actually short this time. Alright. Um, I probably better hold off on doing... Um... What's her name again? <laughs> yeah, better hold off on doing... Whatever Iris needs me to do for last, probably. from the Millian Plains should take us there. We won't get past the barrier there till we deal with the Grimwald Knox first. Okay, got two unknown quests. Warehouse stakeout. Pro's trial, which I'll do that last as far as the known ones. And Artisan is suffering. Okay, um... Let's do the warehouse stakeout first. Actually, before that, let's go to... Yeah, let's go here. Okay, Jade Black, I need Unfading Hide and a Relic Bone. Just browsing then? Hope to see you again soon. Yeah. Oh, 
I'll take everything you got. Ah, you got a good eye. You'll bring more spa bye. See you later. Take a gander. Looking for anything specific? Oh, that one's special. Anything else, Catcher? Hope to see you again soon. Okay, let's see what this one looks like. It and it mm, I do kind of like it, um, but again, opinion from chat will be con taken into consideration as well. So, which do you prefer? <laughs> I had her in the alt color for the rest of the game, but it's your choice. Let me look one more time. Yeah, I think I'll go with this. For starters, the mask I put on her matches it better. <laughs> and I kind of like the green hair. Okay, um, where's the, where's the black, where's the other, da, 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 where is he? Is this it? Isn't what I was looking for. Where you going, huh? All righty then.
that other armor shop? gift shop. Oh. Oh, maybe it's this one. Which means I guess I better go help him out first. Alright, let's do it. tell you, Marcel, you get more and more stubborn by the day. Don't you think you ought to give in just this once? The poor boy was so distraught, he came all the way to here, all the way to pay me a visit. Tell me, Tums, I have to tell you, I'm here to get work done, full stop. Yet here you are, wasting valuable time bring, bringing up my numbskull apprentice. <clears throat> and there you go again. Oh, you kids need something? Well, kind of. We received your request at the bar. Oh ho, why didn't you say so? We craftsmen could use an outside hand. Mind if I borrow you for a bit, seeing as you're already here and all? Sure, we'll help you out. Yes. Great, you kids are real lifesavers. As for a little issue here, it's about Marcel's apprentice, Potts. We need you to bring him back to us. But bring him back to you? What happened to him? He hasn't gone mi- Yeah. Oh. He hasn't- Ugh. He hasn't gone missing, has he? Now look what you've done, Berlin. Your lousy explanation's got the gals all up in a tizzy. At this rate, you'll end up making things more of a mess than they already are. Would you listen to him? The thanks I get for submitting the request he would. Long story short, Marcel and Potts have been having a little master apprentice quarrel. That's no news for them, usually, but it's gotten to a boiling point this time around. <laughs> if only that brat fired up the forge half as well as he did that temper of his. You still haven't told us what actually happened. Oh, sorry about that, boyo. We're blacksmiths, not woodsmiths. And in any case, we're at the craft. We at the craft guild have provided apprenticeships for ages now. It's customary for aspiring young artisans to join workshops and receive training, but whether an apprentice ever becomes a full-fledged craftsman is up to the master. It's not uncommon for youngsters to start feeling impatient or unappreciated. And so that half-wit apprentice of mine went and bought a shield, made a shield I never taught him. All the while spouting some haughty nonsense about putting what he's learned to practice. No respect for the old ways, or workshop permission, permission for that matter, the audacity. I gave him a good yelling to, said a murky like him need to master the basics first. Potts ended up leaving the wa workshop after that. He ran off to the plains with said shield in hand, determined to prove his worth. Huh, like the cut of this kid's gym. But the plains are quite dangerous alone. It would be best if he returned at once. It would. I tried stopping him on my way out of town, but you know what I said?
You're just siding with Master Marcel, huh? All you care about here is damage control. Screw this. Master never planned on training an outsider like me anyway. Oh, well, something like that. I'm not so good with young people speak. He called himself an outsider? Sounds like this is more complex a situation than we thought. Hmm, hardly worth all this fussing around. Sound like the man of the workshops had just about enough of all this. I'll do the ass and form then. Could you bring parts back? Sorry I put you up to this. Sorry I put you up to this. Berlin just mentioned it, but the kid ran off toward the million planes. Seems he was making his way southwest. Then it sounds like that's where we're headed. Let's go search for him. Quest Artisa Artisan is suffering. Accept accepted. Okay. Let's see, we need to go this way, I believe. Yes. And looks like there's a couple of Yeah, there's a land couple of landmarks I didn't pick up last time. Oh, well, there's another side quest out there. Anyway, we need to go to this one right now. Want to go ahead and find those two landmarks first? The hell's that? If I can.
Something's there. Alright, I'm ready now. I'm gonna do it. I'm really gonna do it. And then Master Fox admitted he was wrong. But it won't hurt to be extra, extra sure I'm ready. Oh, there he is! So this is Pots, huh? There'll be a lot less explaining if we're in our normal forms. Hey, you! Well, what, me? Who are you? You and the Monstrums explained the situation to the Leary Pots. 
I get it. Master sent you. Gosh, first you guys, and now he's involved Master Berlin, too. Has he got a shred of dignity left? Oh, no dignity, huh? Remind me, who's the spoiled brat who abandoned ship over an argument with his master again? Ugh. Come back to the city with us. There are too many monsters around here. You wouldn't want your runaway excursion to turn into runaway course recovery, would you? No, but I can't go back yet. Not until I prove the value of this. Potts brings out a prototype shield. Ah, is this what you made without your master's approval? Yes, I wanted to make a shield that was as light as it was sturdy. If I could just prove that it worked against monsters, then that mulish, m mulish master of mine will have no choice but to accept my genius. <laughs> or maybe you're the one who won't accept that you're too scared to face him. You may have left in a huff, but where's that gallantry now? You weren't watching- You weren't watching me, were you? What'd you expect? I've never slain a beast before. I only planned up to this point, but now my stupid legs won't move. Hey, you guys look like a rough crowd. You probably killed monsters before. How about you test out my shield for me? You wish for us to be your test subjects. Exactly. It makes perfect sense. I'm a craftsman, not a br warrior like you guys. Sure, I could go beat up some monsters, but it would be even better in your hands. I think I follow. Meh, you had me at beat up some monsters. Uh, it wouldn't hurt to give it a whirl. Well. Yeah, we've already come this far. But you'd better come back to the city with us after we're done, or else. F fine, you have my word. You can trust me. Here, take it. Prototype shield received. One of you is going to have to equip it, then you need to kill 15 mushroom monsters in the plains. Suppose that they explode after being offed. I figured this should demonstrate its agility. Okay, take it away. Let's just be done with this. Commence the experiment. Equip the prototype shield to one of your active party members and defeat 15 mushroom enemies. Alright. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Actually, let's see. What is this thing? Uh, prototype shield. Defense plus 5, evade rate plus 10%. Hmm. I guess I'll put it on him for now. Okay, there's one.
How many have I killed so far? Let me see. Uh, it's a feed 15 with a prototype shield equipped. Again, how am I supposed to know how many I've killed so far?
I forged a shield with the gold bounce and durability and lightness. One of you needs to equip it and then defeat 15 mushroom monsters in the plains. Supposedly they explode after being off to figure it uh, Well, that wasn't what I want. I was hoping you'd tell me how many I'd killed so far. How do I tell how many I've killed so far? Because I haven't really kept track. I just know I've killed a bunch of them. Or a bunch of them died. Something. I don't know. Okay, there's three more. That might help.
Yeah, I wish she'd tell me how- wish she would somehow let me know how many I've already killed. Okay, hang on a minute. Okay, there we go, now I got it. Now I've got to find, get my way back to him. You guys really did it. So <laughs> half bad. It was strong enough, and it was lightweight too. People would line up for this. That is, if you can forge it on your own. Uh, I see. That's all the testing I need for today. We have fulfilled our end of the contract. You will return to the city as promised. A deal's a deal. Lead the way. Finally, I'll get to show Master what I thought I was right all along. All of you return to Artisan Lane along with Potts. The guild, the guild masters awaited you. Phew-wee! Glad he's still in one piece. Thanks a million, kiddos. 
So, the prodigal apprentice returns. Just thought I'd come back to prove you wrong, you old has-been. So here it is, my masterpiece. Let's see you play your good-for-nothing apprentice down after playing, taking a look at this. Hope we'll see about that, you can see a little brat. Pots hands his prototype shield over to Master Marcel. I'm impressed, Pots. Takes some real nerve to strut on and parading this around as a masterpiece. <sighs> hey, come on now! Still, it's light, sturdy, and easy to handle. You got the makings of something here. But prototype or not, a piece like this is a gold a dozen among craftsmen. If you can't even understand that much. Sh shut your damn mouth. You'll never recognize me as a craftsman no matter what I do, will you? Why even keep me around so you have someone to pick on and do your chores? You talk about the old ways and tradition, but you can't even stand where I come from. Enough already! Don't go making assumptions, Pots. Being a craftsman is my one thing. Skill. No one's here to judge you for being an outsider from Rob. You want my... You want my recognition? You gotta earn it. Your skills just aren't there. Just aren't there yet. So this is... So that's what he meant by outsider. The number of Romans here did increase after Glia's annexation. It wasn't long after the war when you first knocked on my workshop door. At the time, most Gleans scored Romans as callous invaders behind their backs. But still, you insisted on following behind bumbling old me without a single gripe. I'll admit, I started to grow fond of you over the years. Yet, in all your time treading water with nothing to show, I never encouraged you even once. Master Marcel. I understand your feelings, that the way I run my workshop is outdated. Suppose I just couldn't bring myself to take any criticism from an amateur. Until now, it is. Huh? Didn't you hear me? I said the shield had the makings of something. It's rough around the edges, sure, but a little elbow grease and it'll make a fine product. What matters is that you finally produce something worthy of praise. You've got a ways to go before becoming a true craftsman. But that doesn't mean I can't listen to you once in a while. But, Master... First off, try tempering this shield again. A little refined and should brighten it out. You want to put what you learned to practice? Here's your big chance. After all that, you can gripe about how I, much, how I run the place as much as you want. Y yes, Master. Aw, Pots. I'm happy for him. The hell do we always stick around for these mushy-ass happy endings anyway? <laughs> oh, it's I thought was safe. Fair weather cometh after the storm. Thanks again for your help, everyone. Afterwards, Potts told Adol and his friends to stay and wait. Following a short wait, he then handed his refined creation over to them. Feather shield received. Is this really the same shield from before? You have improved upon it considerably for such a short period of time. Yeah, it came together somehow or another, thanks to Master Marcel's advice. Of course it did. Like I keep saying, you've got a long ways to go. C can it, old man? You made your point. Anyway, I've obviously got a lot to learn before I can become a true craftsman. So, I'll just have to keep busting my ass under Master's instruction until I get there. We'll put... We'll put... Looking forward to your next piece. Thank you. Can't say I know when that'll be, but you can be sure I won't disappoint. And thanks again for everything. We'll know who to call next time something comes up. We have accomplished our Quest task. Artisan is suffering completed. Complete. Okay. Um, is there a nearby? Yeah, there is. Sorry. Okay, uh, this is where I'm going to end the stream for tonight. Uh, actually, let me check out that shield first. Defense plus 10, evade rate plus 25%. Yeah, I think I'll keep that on him. 
Seems like a good thing for him. What did his thing look like again? Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> okay. So, like I said, this is where I'm going to end the stream for tonight. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And, as always, you can follow my YouTube channel link below to see my past streams. As well as my Twitter account to be notified when I go live or for other announcements. And, um, I might be back before too much longer for more of Trails of Cold Steel 2 with my friend Rio Maverick. Um, if not, I'll be back tomorrow for more of for more of Kingdom Hearts uh, Kingdom Hearts Marathon with Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Hopefully I'll finish up Terra Story this time. And if you'll stick around, I will be dropping a host. Uh, let's see who we're gonna host tonight. Richie, who's playing Mortal Kombat Deception. So I hope you stick around for that, and um, again, if I'm not back later tonight, I hope I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, and t have a good night, and take care, everyone. Bye.